Hello and welcome back to the Football Chat Podcast. This is the start of a sort of mini-series. It's episode number 44 today. It's not a mini-series. We're basically going to go through every club in the Premier League, discuss the season just gone, and discuss the season going ahead, looking at sort of transfer rumours, looking at the squad as a whole, things that need to be improved, upstairs and on the field and stuff. So obviously looking at directors and all that. Basically just a club overview of reviewing the last season, looking into this season, discussing what needs to change and what needs to stay the same. So yeah, starting this season, we're going to go in alphabetical order, meaning today we start with Arsenal. An intriguing season last year, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it was an interesting one. Um, I think from uh, overall, I think Arsenal fans will be very disappointed in the fact really? that they didn't get Champions League football. I'd say considering they were bottom of the league after three games... I'll probably take the fact they got fifth. Uh, uh, the only thing, the only plus side I do see it being is that I do think they have a. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do in Europe next season, and whether that causes their league performance to be, uh, to be to be hindered. But anyway, yeah. yeah, last season, decent season for Arsenal, just missing out on Champions League football on the final day. Tapered off. I mean, there's ga- there was games in there like losing two one to Brighton, two 0 to Newcastle. 3-0 to Palace. Games like that, which were confusing. Drawing with Burnley in January. That I mean, cool. FA Cup was very poor. Don't take the FA Cup to Forest. Forest. Out in the semis of the Carabao Cup to Liverpool. Potentially, I think, one or two more good players in the sides. You could be looking at them going to yeah. going to the next round. The, what, the final. Definitely. definitely. Playing at Wembley against Chelsea. So, I don't think you can have too many problems. I think Arsenal will be overall happy with their season. No silverware. But Europa League for mm. next season, and I think that will that will have a huge impact on players joining. Both adversely affected in terms of poorly and badly. So I think that yeah. that they didn't get Champions League does mean some players won't want to join. Mm-hmm. Does but yeah. the fact they are in Europe at least will mean others will want to join. But anyway, we'll start. So yeah, season review. Not too much to just say. It was no, an okay but... season for them, but. Uh, you know, a club that were dominant, dominating the English Premier League for well, a season, at least up in the title fight all through the mid thousands. The fact they're now happy with fifth, yeah, there's a lot about but their I'll be honest, demise. Looking in the last, last few years. five years, I think Arsenal yeah. fans would very much take a fifth position. Yeah, um, yeah, I it guess hasn't been great they, don't, they don't want a trophy, but I think next yeah. season they've got good prospects to get their hands on something. Yes. Let's go through the squad then, because I want to do like a, a keep or sell kind of yeah, element yeah. to this because there's a I think there's some interesting takes on here first up Burnt Leno I think this is quite an easy choice so obviously easily you've got the likes of Ramsdale is all obviously they're good, they're, they'll, they'll have to sign a backup but that's easy you can sign anyone but Forster and Johnson are available so I just think yeah get rid of Leno bring in a backup yeah. not too difficult to do and I think Leno probably yeah. wants to leave as well he's been kicked out by Ramsdale so yeah, then Ramsdale, of course, key. Obviously, key. I don't know who Oconquo is, but I mean, yeah, we'll keep, keep it. it. Yeah, yeah, keep, yeah, 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 not, yeah. We're not going for fourth choice. Well, what like do you that. think about Alex Kirk? Oh, a bit easy. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Uh, Kieran Tierney. Easy. Quite an keep. obvious one. I think the defence, fairly Very solid. solid. White, keep. Yeah. Gabriel, yeah. keep. Holding. Yes, if, from an Arsenal point of view, I, I wouldn't want him touching my club. I think he's no. all right. If he's your fourth, I think if he's your fourth choice, I think maybe bring in one other centre back. He can do a job against Crew Alexander at home. In oh, the I, I still Cup. think he can play prem football. I think if you've got Forest, Bournemouth, he did he did all right this season when he got minutes. Well, in the North London derby, he got sent off after half an yeah, hour. Yeah, I didn't say in the North London derby specifically. I don't think he should be playing games like that. Yeah. But he's a fine backup. I think if you bring in one other centre back as well, maybe. Fair, I need some entertainment. Bre- <laughs> when, when we're watching Arsenal games on TFC Live, maybe Bremer from Torino. Yeah. Potentially steal him from Tottenham and Chelsea would be a good coup for him. Yeah, and they've got the like. Um... No, is there isn't another one. I was about to say, isn't they got another centre half? They don't. No, it's in Cedric Suarez. Keep yourself. I think keep him. He's a very good, solid. He's had a few he's done, minutes. He's, he's done well. He's and a I solid think he's, backup to Tommy Asu. He's going to be back up to Tommy Asu, who's of course a keep. And then Nuno Tavares, sell. They're bringing in Aaron Hickey from um, Bologna, which will be a very good backup. To very, team. very good signing. The Scottish yeah. left back club. Well, believed to be. It's not a confirmed deal yet. But I, yeah. 
Tavares, I genuinely don't think he is a professional footballer. <laughs> I've what we watched the big game yeah. against Liverpool in the league, and yeah. he was horrific going forward. He was terrible defensively. Worst defensively, which is amazing. Against Mo Salah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he, he was awful. He's had glimpses he's of awful. he's shown glimpses of potential this season, but he's, he's got a goal in front. I'd now. perhaps suggest a loan. Try and recoup some of the money they paid for him with yeah. a, a decent month loan, and then if he does well on loan, Go back to Portugal time. If if he does well on loan, on loan. potential for a, yeah. either a permanent or a slot, slot into the Arsenal side, uh, into the midfield then, and we've got Thomas Partey. Like him, I swear I've not seen him this season. He's been injured. Uh, when else he went to Afcon? Yeah, what's I his? Know, I guess it. Is he, what let's has look to at him? last season. He played twenty four games. He's played a lot of games then. Scored twice, 16 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws, 1 assist, yeah, he played a lot of quite a 5 yellows. I, I swear I didn't see him all season, but yeah, he must have played. maybe yeah. he got injured late on. He played with just, just don't remember him recently. Yeah. So I've, I've only remember El Nenny playing, yeah, but I guess that was the last few El weeks. Yeah. Uh, maybe a pipe, but couple not. Yep, Saka is quite oh, obvious. Key. Sell him to Chelsea. No. <laughs> no uh, Martin Odegaard key. Odegaard, really impressed with this season fantastic yeah. he's, he's second he's season been brilliant. exactly what they needed yeah a creator in that attacking midfield role if only they had a striker yeah if only I think that's the because Odegaard creates now. he can score goals he can yep. he can do a job in centre midfield as well if you need him to do one mm. that's where he started playing and, but further forward is definitely his more preferred position mm. and he yeah as I said phenomenal for Arsenal this year 100% Smith Rowe is, he's had a good season he's not going anywhere really is yeah. he but I do can see him, maybe on a signing, he might be, become more of a backup option. I mean, especially with Martinelli, tends yeah. to start over him anyway. Uh, Albert Sammy Laconga, not good enough, really. Nice. I know he's young, I guess, so he's got time he's to develop. Backup. Oh, he's 22. Um, yeah, I don't he's know. He's played 19 games this season, they've lost six of them. Yeah, okay, yeah, to get rid of it. Draw on three. I'd get rid of him, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a rush. He's got as was, many yellow cards it, as party. For me, it's not a definite sell. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I, I wouldn't... I mean, maybe alone then. Yeah. Because I think he's too young really to be starting for Arsenal. Or really involved the squad. El Nenny, go. I like El Nenny. Of course you do. I like El Nenny. Um, I think... He does get hated on a lot. I mean, 14 I, appearances, 6 losses, 8 wins. And I mean, in the, the past, side. I have hated on him a little bit. But I, I, I like him. I think he's a good player. And I think from an Arsenal, or for Arsenal, he's, he's done right All this right. year. Maybe keep and maybe sell. Depends if you can recoup it, get any money for him. Mm. Uh, then Granit Xhaka. Oh, controversial one. That's a very intense sip of the sip of the drink there. Are we about to get a bold take? Keep. Uh, flame up front. To be fair, Xhaka is a striker now. Xhaka is a good centre midfielder, but his disciplinary is awful. And that is the one letdown. Because that's really, mm. you cannot play him. Say Arsenal are in the quarterfinals of the Europa League, and he goes and gets sent off after 25 minutes. That has then ruined the game for them. And that's the that is the big that's a huge risk for Xhaka. Um, I think it depend if they can sign us at the mid. I say sell. Yeah. If they don't, I mean, they've, they've got, got to keep. Um, obviously, obviously. Well he's coming through. He might yeah. And Charlie Patino as well. Yeah. We've got young young options. We've got options coming through. It'll be interesting to see what happens. And then looking at the attackers. Yeah. Lacazette's already left to go Leon. to Leon, so yeah. a striker is imperative because Pepe. Get rid of him. Sell. Yeah. They, maybe a loan. It'll be a massive maybe, loss. Maybe a, to maybe a loan initially. To, I'd, I think Serie A or Liga. 70 million. I yeah. think they can, if they can loan with an option to buy for 50. That's decent, to be fair. If, yeah. they, if they can get that. that I think that's definitely 50 possible. 50 off him. No, but it's an, if it's an option. Yeah. Then a club like an Inter Milan might take a risk on a loan maybe. for him. Maybe. And then you, maybe you utilise the option to buy if he has a stunning season. AC or in some something like that. Eddie and Ketia. I like Eddie. I think he's a fine backup. He's shown yeah, okay. throughout, oh, yeah, backup. I like his backup. throughout the end, last the back half of the season that he can get goals. And he's a good much, backup. As much as I hate it, you while he can develop the goals, he has still yeah. finish him. Put him in the back in of the, the net. Uh, and I think then it'll be a good backup to what, whoever they bring in as their definitely, main striker. Definitely. Martinelli could play as that main striker role. I would prefer him on the left, but he's definitely yeah, staying yeah. at the club. So versatile, so good as well. And then someone one of the best finisher yeah. in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, well, he's a good finisher, not one of the best in the league, but he's a good finisher. Uh, 
Uh, and then someone I've not really seen discussed too much, Fuller and Balogun. Of course, yeah, not actually in well. the squad. He's been a, really, really had a good end to the season with Middlesbrough. Which he really getting really on. I, I think it'll be another loan. Another loan, definitely. But he's rubbish on full manager. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're basically just scrapping any logic in this video. We're just going to go, who's who's good on football manager? Yeah, Get Adi Emi, <laughs> spend all the money you have on him. Dear. Fabio Carvalho is a baller, though. Okay, right. We'll so, do that later. <laughs> <laughs> Balogun, I think a, a Prem loan move is what's needed. Maybe, mate. If Forrest, that, if Forrest don't get Keenan Davis, which I think they will. So I think they will. Yeah. yeah, Villa don't need him. Villa just want to sell all their strikers, so Ollie Watkins must no, play. None of them score. So Gerard loves Watkins so much. He's selling all the other strikers, so they have to play Watkins. No excuses. Uh, and then, uh, I guess other clubs: Bournemouth. Who they got? Solanke. Now nah, be Solanke easy. Because yeah, the two of them up front. Ballinger's not good. They play one up front. And well, Ballinger's... change it. Two Maybe. up front and play two strikers that have been sensational at youth level and never made it to the top so level. Solanke had a great... Do still young, so it'd be harsh to go. Yeah, nah, shit. Like can, well, um, uh, and then Fulham. Yeah. Good understudy yeah. to Mitro. Because Mitro's getting a bit old now. Yeah. Who did, yeah. Who have they had? Uh, uh, I, I swear they signed someone on loan. Did they get Fabio Silva? No. There was someone like that. Um... I can't, I can't remember, remember but they had I swear they had someone online anyway yeah so that, that's the squad then transfer rumours Gabriel Jesus what are we, what are we thinking it looked it looked quite likely until Arsenal didn't get Champions League football mm. and no, agree, now yeah. it's kind of gone up in the air and no one really knows where I, who's going to catch I it. think the problem is Jesus knows that Tottenham and Chelsea are both interested and they've both watched Champions League football for next season. They're both clubs that, if you're going to be honest, I think both of those could be in the champ- fight for the title next season. I don't see Arsenal being up there. So if you're Jesus, would you rather go to an Arsenal side that are in the hunt for the Europa League or a Chelsea side that are you know, Champions League winners only 12 months ago? It depends what happens. If Tottenham get Richarlison and then... Yeah, and, well, then another, and Chelsea get another striker. I was going to say, yeah, but I think if Tottenham get Richarlison, straight fight between Arsenal and Chelsea, I think most players would pick Chelsea. Unless you're sort of like an Aaron Hickey, for example, which yeah. I think is the kind of signings Arsenal need to make. I, I think, I, 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 see, I would understand if Jesus went to Arsenal, won the Europa League, scored a load of goals, dominated Europe, got was top goal scorer in the FA Cup or something, and... Did well. I just think if you're Gabriel Jesus, you're a young striker. You look at the Chelsea side that has yeah. that, that has no strikers. If if yeah. Lukaku leaves, what Timo Werner is your only competition? A guy who can't hit a barn door with a banjo. So I think yeah. we'll be all right because well, Kai's not a natural striker. So you've got the Brazilian link with Thiago Silva. And he can also, also can also can also play on the wing. Yeah, very versatile. I personally think he's a very good option for. Chelsea would be brilliant for Arsenal. I just don't think Arsenal will get him. So then you start to look at other strikers, other good young strikers across Europe, or older. I guess Belotti on a free yeah. could be worth a punt. Maybe experience he carries. Um, of Italian football, though. I, yeah, exactly. I don't know if he's Premier quality. Um, other obviously Dybala, but I think again, no chance. Not for really an actual good. striker as yeah, well. And- no More of an attacking midfielder. The fact I, I think the fact they haven't got Champions League football is gonna, is hurting them more than I think everyone yeah. expected. Yeah, I mean it does massively um, thing with them. What do you think of someone like Skamaka, the Sassuolo striker? Mm, no. 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 Won't impress the other night. No, I could see a Raspadori. I think a bit too diminutive for the Premiership. There's a reason they play Raspadori yeah. and Skamaka up front together, because because Raspadori's about mm. five foot and Skamaka's about nine foot, so yeah, yeah. little and large. I, I don't know. I wasn't really impressed with Skamaka. Um, Iga, he went to Arsenal, it'd be great because he wouldn't do anything. Uh, oh, he'd have a really good season yeah. where they could just cross balls in and no one they can could. fight with him in the air. Um, I think yeah, all the other options we still want strikers is you can play Martinelli through the middle and then bring in another winger. Yeah, but then if if I think if Arsenal go into next season with Martinelli and Eddie and Ketia mm. as their two strikers, they will struggle. Uh, by the way, back to Nicolas Pepe. Do you not see a second win for him? 
I think potentially. I think if he's still still at the club, gets minutes. If Martin Ady goes especially, in the middle, put him on the especially right. with Europa League, maybe keeping him yeah. around could be a good idea. Another player, actually, we didn't think of Reese Nelson. For me, a hundred percent keep. He's had a very good season with Feyenoord, and I think on that right wing, is there an option to buy in that though? Because if there is, Feyenoord will snap that. If up. it's an option, then Reese Nelson. Uh, sorry, Arsenal don't have to. Oh, sorry, no, it's the other club that don't have to accept. Reese Nelson doesn't have to accept no matter what he can say. And now I'm not oh, coming. Okay. But I, I think so if Arsenal would have promised him, yeah. If Arsenal would have promised him that he'd start, he could. Well, well at least get good minutes. I think he's mm. he's definitely good enough to get good minutes. Then the I would say the look at Luka Jovic for Arsenal. Yeah, I mean, he's like zero. He, he's for Jovic. Yeah, but I, I think he's someone who'll be more than happy to play Europa League football. He'd be happy just to play a game of football. I mean, he's what, he's sitting in reserves at I, Madrid? I think a loan move for Luka Jovic to Arsenal would be perfect for everyone. Real Madrid, keep him, but he goes and gets some minutes. Yeah. Arsenal, getting a really good young striker for a season, which doesn't really hamper the development of Foller and Balogun or Enketa, because mm, yeah. they can still get minutes at the same time. And Jovic gets to go and play regular football. Yeah, gets to prove yeah, himself like again on idea. the Premier League stage and the European stage. I think Jovic to Arsenal makes so much sense. So yeah, yeah I, I, I think that, that's pretty much what they've got to do there. Other links then they were linked with. I'm trying to think now. I see Aaron Hickey's already done. Too, Hickey yeah. is pretty much done. I think a centre half is crucial. Yeah. Who is an interesting shout? Because I don't, I don't think Arsenal will go and spend forty million on centre half. So someone no. like a, a Bremer. No. The Brazilian center half yeah. Torino wouldn't really be a good option because he's 40 mil. Bastoni would break the bank. 40's a bit hard. 40's steep. Especially Maguire now. was 80. Good point. Ben good White point. was 50. Um, okay, yeah, well, it's 40's not steep. Um, I, I, I think they'd want Prem experience. Yeah. Arsenal. Obviously, Tomiyasu is a center half. Or can't play center half, can't play right back. Yeah. Which, and then another right back could be an option. And there are the right backs out, out there as well. Oh, but if you're thinking Prem experience, maybe Livermore wouldn't leave a year after joining no, Southampton. No. I don't think he'd immediately go to Arsenal. I think Chelsea would go. Hang on, he's forty mil. Please, let's have him yeah. back. Uh, then oh, what about the other seven? Carl Walker Peters, ex Tottenham. That would really be burning his bridges with his former side. Would he also. Care? I think he's very happy in the current system he's playing in, and he's played more as a yeah. left back this season and been really good there. I don't think yeah. he'd want to play backup. He's another player who I think would. I mean, evidently he left Tottenham because mm. he was a backup. I don't think players like Lamptey, Livermento, and um, Carl Walker Peters would leave their kind of lower size to join someone mm. who who, who yeah. they'll be second options. I think you'd be more looking at re like because they're they're youngsters who've shown that they care more about game time than. Yeah. Playing for a big team, but if you yeah, if you could find someone who's yeah good enough, I think I think right backs they're fine. Cedric Suarez is a fine backup. Hickey will will mean that they don't need Tavares. I think they just need one more centre half probably. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I think if you uh, maybe in a Kanji could be a good shout. Yeah, because he's not gonna he's not amazing, but if you when you need him as a backup he'd be good and maybe look, Dortmund bringing in shot at the back and yeah Sula. so I was just thinking he's going to be an option maybe look on the free transfers list let's see if, there we, if there's, there's, there's any there centre halves left yeah um, yeah I, um, I definitely think I think Aaron Hickey great backup I uh, yeah as you said now a centre half a striker James Tarkovsky Ooh. sounds mental but would be a good deal yeah, I can see it. Alessio Romagnoli from AC Milan. He want to start though. Would he? Yeah. He's not. Is he still starting for AC? No. Okay. That's it's been it. Simon Kier and Tamori, hasn't it? I think he'd be yeah. happy just to get any minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then you've got Luis Felipe, twenty-five That'll years old. Jason Denea, twenty-six from Lyon. Mm. There's quite a few options here. Also, when Ketty is out of contract. Oh. I don't I know if they that. Yeah, I was gonna say might wanna might wanna renew that. Uh let's have a look. Is there any any are any other centre halves? Oh I've actually gone, gone to the last page, but Semi Vasalko could be a decent option of right back. Uh, any other centre? Roman Sice? Dan Axel Zagadu. And the thing I see with Sice Jack yeah. Stevens. Sice 
Uh, Stevens was one I was going to suggest. John Brooks. Stevens is very good. Um, yeah, I think the fact he's not playing for Southampton and on a then free, up to Arsenal. Home think, grown quotas as well. Yeah, Stevens, Tarkovsky, anyone like that. Yeah. English on a free transfer. There's no risk. If he does so shit, oh well. Exactly. Sell him. If anything, exactly. you'll make a profit. Yeah. I think they're good. They're players that need to be need to be being snapped up. Definitely, definitely. Felipe from Atletico Madrid. Ooh. Available on a free. He's 33 years old, so he's, I don't think he's going to be too annoyed that he doesn't start every so game. Only play like 10 games a and when you've move. got so many competitions you've yeah. got to play in, yeah. players like that make a difference. Definitely. Because I, I think, yeah, he wouldn't start every week, no. but then neither does La- Laporte, and you don't see no. him desperately trying to leave Man City. So there's options out there for free. If Arsenal are smart and shrewd about their business, they can definitely improve their side without breaking the bank. Which, to be fair, Arsenal have been quite decent in their business over the last few years. Yeah. As we said, Odegaard, uh, Tobiasu, uh, Cedric, Suarez. Mm. I mean... Um, the Conga still think could be a decent deal, but equally though they've had the bad ones like Pepe. Yeah. Um, who's the other one? I was thinking of Pepe's a uh, Lille masterclass. Uh, Tavares. So. Yeah, but Tavares is still young. He's twenty two. You he's never know. Yeah. Could become Shao Cancelo. Uh, then mm-hmm. other mm-hmm. other links, other options midfield. We talked about Xhaka and only possibly not being quite up to standard. What do you think of Husam Alwa? I really like him. I really like him. Um, he's been linked with Arsenal before, hasn't he? Yeah, well, he's a long. He's been yeah. linked with them for about three years now. I'm fairly sure. I I think he's a very good centre midfielder. Yeah, I, I think he'd be a good op. You know, play. You could play him and El Nenny or him and Jaco. Then you you've you got you know, that here. You'd have Awa, El Nenny, Jaco, Laconga. Uh, blah, 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 blah. forgotten big one. I who I've got party. Party, party, and Alwa as a pivot, pivot yeah. would be solid. Other things you can link, look at possibly on the free agents list: Coratan Taliso, available on a free Champions yeah. League experience. Champions League winner with Bayern Munich. Quality has played with Alwa before. Yeah. I think if you bring both of those in, loan out Lukonga, maybe lose Xhaka or El Nani. One thing we have also, you no, but them. keep the four actually. Keep Party, El Nani, Xhaka, and. Now Warren and Toliso, five we've films. mentioned on past videos yeah. and streams is that maybe look, also look at players who aren't going to the World Cup. Because yeah, well, that Toliso that's a big thing. wouldn't go. Yeah. Our no, no. wouldn't be going with France. No. Imagine it would be Pogba, Kante, Charmany, Kamavinga, yeah. those kind of players. Same with Stevens, Tarkovsky, they're not going to the World Cup either. Mate, I mean, you never know. Southgate does just put England players in a hat and goes, oh, Jack Stevens, that's fun. <laughs> we could actually conceding a lot of goals. And uh, who's it? Jovic? He won't go, will he? No, Serbia aren't going. Exactly. So I think everyone we've mentioned also ticks yeah. out, ticks another box of the fact they won't be worried about getting injured, which means you can play them more. Yeah, I mean, Ch- Chancellor and Bemba's also on the list if you really fancy a good centre half. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, positions that need addressing, we've kind of gone over that. So some, we'll go through some kind of loose predictions. I don't want anything set in stone, because obviously we'll have our big yeah. prediction vid come out once we've seen through the transfer window, kind mm-hmm. of seen the kind of moves that happen, yeah. and kit launch as well. That can make a huge right. difference based on where teams yeah. can finish, because if you bring out a shit kit, I'm putting you last, because I don't yeah. want to see you in the Prem next season. So... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> kit ranking. Manchester United have won something, guys. I really hope now Chelsea don't bring out bad kits. Yeah, they'll put, still, still be first, it's fine. Right. They'll sell Nike. Um, <laughs> okay, loose predictions then. Europa League, do you think they can win it? I, I, we, I We got asked this question a couple of days ago, um, or I did, and I, for me, it really depends on what teams come down from the Champions League. Because... Mm. It get if you get a a Barcelona or a, um, I could see a United going down third in the group. I was just gonna have a quick look through the clubs that are already confirmed going, which is apparently none. Um, Ghent, Ostravien, Hearts, Ammonia, Siversport, Dina Pro, Silkeborg. I don't think either of them are. 
Yeah. Um, I do think it would depend who comes down from the Champions League, but I definitely think they can make a good chance of it. I yeah. they got to the final in 2017. Uh, 20, lost, no, 2019. 2019, they lost, lost to Chelsea. Lost to Chelsea. Same time that, us, that Liverpool beat and that was even Tottenham. That was the last game. Yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah. Scored a penalty, won the thing. Yeah, good point. That's a great day. So then, it? other teams in there. Manchester United. Do you yeah, think they'll three. be competitive Definitely with them? Definitely a threat. Um, I think Tottenham will go one of two ways. They're either going to get knocked down to the Europa League and win it, or, or they're going to do really well in the Champions League. Conte likes a knockout tournament, I think. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. I can't, I'm trying to think I of think his Arsenal could definitely make a good run, though. Um, I, I, I don't really know where, but definitely... I was going to have a quick look at the other teams semis, in the competition. Final. Who knows? Um, okay, Bundesliga, your Union Berlin okay. and Freiburg. Not right, though. Really? Not from Arsenal. Point look at Freiburg this season. Got to the DFB Pokal finals. Um, and look like a really good unit. If you knock out Bayern, you've, you could have got a great chance of getting there. And Union Berlin. Oh, it's an amazing achievement for them to get fifth. They'll get relegated. Really From what? The, the, the Europa League? Okay. Uh, then Serie A, Lazio and Roma. Roma's a big one. I think both sides are a big one. Mourinho, yeah, but um, hate Lazio. Im, um, okay, Immobile scored so many goals. Okay, 27 yeah. in the league this season. Uh, top TikTok got... Top I'm not goal saying scorer. that, I say it, but Roma, for me, under Mourinho, we, they've won the conference league. Yeah. Um, so he's in from the league as well. Yeah, I, uh, ca- I can see. Real Betis and Real Sociedad. Could... Mm, Betis, maybe, yeah. Could Hector Bellerin come back to haunt his former side? I think it'll be close. But yeah, I think Arsenal will do a good I'm job. Let's go for see who's in league one as well. Uh, it'll be Wren. Strong side. And Monaco. And potentially oh, no. Monaco, what are they in? Champions League qualification. Okay, not Monaco, then Europa League. Uh, oh, uh, Ni- nice are in Europa oh, Conference League qualification, okay. Uh, so it'll be only Ren from League 1, unless any of the okay. other sides go down from it. So, yeah, some interesting, interesting think, teams in there. Obviously, it's going to be tough. It's, it's tough to win every competition. Mm. But so there's a few big sides in there, but I do think Arsenal can beat them. I think United, Roma, Betis. Yeah. Maybe Lazio as well. But the clubs like that could cause a lot of problems for Arsenal. It'll be yeah. interesting to see. But yeah, still sort of wild to go into obviously the Europa League qualification mm-hmm. and stuff. Those could make a huge difference. Yeah. Which teams are in the Champions League, which teams are in the Europa League. Um, oh, one other league. Uh, Liga Nos. Yeah, like, um, oh, Liga Portugal now, isn't it? Thinking, um, I think they'll have a good who's in that one. Braga. Okay, no. Um, they went far this year in the conference league. No, I thought they got they got to the semis against Rangers in the Europa League, didn't oh, they? Yeah. So you wouldn't count them out. No, but I think Arsenal. Will be and then Eredivisie as well. I'll check. See who it is. It okay. There's some knockout system going on here for something. Uh, what the hell is going on here? There's some weird tournament thing. Oh, for conference league playoff. Wow, 5th right. to 8th in the Eredivisie fight out to see who will get into oh, the Conference right. League playoff. That's fun. Uh, so it's it's going to be Feyenoord. Did right, got, got, Feyenoord. To, got to the final of the... So there's definitely a few tricky teams. Conference League. But as I said... I well, think they there's put, a lot of teams with European think experience. They think they recent far. European experience in the Europa League this year. Go yeah, that's, that's a, uh, well, FA Cup. Can you see him winning it? Can you see him getting far? Again, re- I think I can get, they can go far. But I don't think they can go... Depends on the draw, does not it? <laughs> Obviously, if they went and got Jesus, yeah. Aouar Al- and Toliso but and all that... Good. I don't think they'll do well in every competition. So if they go far in Europa League and get top four in the Prem... Then they'll have been knocked out of the Cups early. I think they're not so good. But if they go far, if, far in the Carabao Cup, far in the FA Cup... You don't see them winning everything, then? No. No. Surprise, surprise. I don't see Arsenal winning... <laughs> Dom- good domestic here. treble and picking up the Europa League as well. Uh, then Carabao, Carabao Cup well, that could be a potential win for I them it can because some teams just don't care about uh, it I, I mean look at Man City this year they've yeah. won it so many times they lost to West Ham who's in, who played and it, I mean Arsenal lost to the semis yeah, this year yeah but the semis lost to Liverpool and I mean anyone could create a better more entertaining final than Chelsea Liverpool was last year I think it's a competition which has less banana skins, yeah, which could yeah. be good for Arsenal because they tend to lose to smaller sides. Yeah, they lost to Forest in the FA Cup this year. Exactly, but then in your conf- if you look at the FA Cup semis, yeah, Man City, Liverpool, but then Chelsea played Palace. Yeah. If you look at the Carabao Cup semis, Chelsea, Tottenham and Liverpool, Arsenal, they're probably the best sides possible, if other Arsenal, than other than Arsenal, City. 
if Arsenal got Tottenham, then maybe they could have got through to that Carabao Cup final. Yeah, and then Premier League, where would you have them? Do you think they'll be in the fight for Europe? Just a kind of a loose prediction, don't want to give exact positions yeah. and that just yet? Yeah. yeah. Think they'll be in the fight for Europe? But what kind of places? What Conference League, you know, Europa League, stuff? I personally don't think they'll get Champions League football. I think right now, they'll be around basically. where they are this season, but they could get Champions League through Europa League. Potentially. Or if like United were to win it and they were in the top. I think though United will be outside the top. Seven. Who knows though? We don't know that. Oh, they can make some really good signings. Who knows? But yeah, yeah I think I, I, well, you kind of can't talk about how one club will perform without going well. I think these others will perform better or worse. Yeah, that's the thing though. This Arsenal one's actually because obviously we haven't seen any chance so far. By the time yeah. we're getting we to like get the Manchester club, like West Ham as well. Yeah. Well, especially West Ham. They're going to be right at the end. Oh, yeah, that's why I went Arsenal for W. Um, yeah. By the time we get to Wolves, it's going to be. Yeah, exactly. They're going to know most. They're going to win the league. Yeah. Not Wolves. Wolves yeah. have signed Ronaldo, <laughs> Bernardo Silva. Portuguese. Exactly. Well, Bernardo Silva could be on the move. Bernardo Silva, Ronaldo, Charisma's If they back, have, if they have a spare fun. 100 mil, could be a good move. Anyway, I think I'll round up today's podcast. Yes. I, I think it's a little bit of a shorter one. A bit of a half an hour app. We kind of want to make these That's more, expected, more half an hour, yeah. Maybe, yeah. I think hours a bit long. People don't have an hour to sit around and listen or watch us. So mm-hmm. Fair enough. Anyway, yeah, that's about all. Make sure to leave a like if you're on YouTube and hit down add to, uh, hit download yeah, and add to Spotify. episodes on Spotify. Loving the support on the Spotify. I know we had some audio issues last time, which made it a little bit hard to listen to, so apologies all the regulars if that has hindered your listening experience I'm hoping this is a lot better shouldn't be echoey this time if it is apologies again we'll try and get that sorted for the next one but yeah I think what we've done should have fixed it yeah and then other than that Make, uh, obviously if you're on YouTube head over to the Spotify if you're on Spotify head on YouTube I say it every week share the love across all the platforms follow all the socials they're always linked in the description of the videos on YouTube and all that good stuff anything else no streams coming up unfortunately there's not much football no. until the start of the Women's Euros which is the 6th of July we'll be following all the England games yeah. and if we get good reception to it we might do other games as well we'll look at it yes. if there's millions of people coming in chat we'll probably watch some other random game yeah. If yeah. a million of you watch it, <laughs> might just will consider doing another game. Yeah, sure. So make sure you get a million uh, there. Anything else? We'll quickly fall around up. Probably not. Make sure you get involved. Leave a like. All that good stuff. Subscribers now. We're on 522. 522 Huge. people subscribe. Appreciate that so much, guys, on the YouTube. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you are new. It's constantly growing. We're very much pushing now towards that 1K, and I'm Especially loving on Spotify, it recently. You guys on Spotify, yeah, I know, over. I know you. You're not a sub, mate. I know you are. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. You, you yeah. get over to the YouTube and hit that sub button. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching slash listening, and we'll see you next time. See ya.